Cross Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Because our number one investment is us. Mm. Yourself. Your community. Where you grew up. You don't have no outside uh, investment, but all the time we have people uh, speaking on inner city problems that have no vested interest in the subject that they're speaking I, on. Well, I, I, and I'm glad you said that. I was listening last night, and I, I listened to Vlad, and I listened to uh, uh, No Jumper 22, Adam 22, who have big platforms in California. And all night, and she heard, you know I was listening to that last night, and the thing that stuck out to me the most was how much they spoke on all of the killings, and it was mostly, all of it was black people. Everything that was going on in the black culture, the black community, they were speaking on it because they had been on their show. Either somebody got arrested after they left the show or either they got uh, killed when they left the show, uh, you know, just after they left that show. And how much does going on these platforms like mine and every, how does that, well, it brings awareness to it, but does it really help? Well, as far as bringing awareness, but once again, uh, uh, life imitates art. And these youths cannot see down the line, like for me. It took me uh, 60, 50 years to learn to choices in life, right for wrong. But when you're out there in them streets, and this is they see that's the only way out, they're not looking at the uh, adversities involved in getting to where you're trying, particularly in the hip-hop game, to where everything seems to be a hatred, smearing, slandering, uh, and the only thing stronger than a man's pride is a mother's love. Uh, and it's just sad that uh, we as a race are hurting each other at this alarming rate. Wow, you know, and just since, since here recently here in Texas, I know y'all, and I was going to ask more of this, but I'm going to ask you, man, uh, Travis Scott, man, we had a, a tragic deal to happen out in Houston where this whole uh, concert was going on and, and they ended up blaming him uh, for these uh, situations that happened, uh, the deaths that were going on. And it's crazy how that happened, but I look at, I look at that and then I look at, I even look at Jason Aldean and what, when the people got killed up there in uh, Las Vegas. And I'm like, was the same, would the same narrative be for Jason Aldean in country music as it would be for a, you know, for a, a, a Travis Scott in Houston, Texas? Well, a little insight on Travis Scott, because uh, he got canceled from the weekend in Las Vegas. I've uh, seen that. Right, but uh, earlier this morning I heard from uh, my nephew, Joey Badass, who had been yeah, yeah, yeah. the night out there, and they had asked me was I out there to come. And uh, security is real tight, but we also have a video uh, prior to uh, the whatever trampling or whatever the outburst, where the, the people that were injured and uh, uh, condolences to those, oh, those families. That, uh, family members that lost their loved ones and God's healing grace for those that are in the hospital. Because uh, like I say, I don't like to see no parent or somebody hurt. But at the end of the day, uh, a lot of times uh, you're getting castrated by the media uh, and they look for a way to take you down. But they have video where the young man had, uh, Travis Scott allegedly had uh, stopped the show to ask to uh, help uh, somebody prior to that way seeing somebody injured. And one thing about the law, and when we go to this, you got negligence, not intent. If this man didn't know what occurred there, for he went to an after party from my information, he didn't know nothing about it. So he's not aware of what happened. He cannot be held accountable, no more different than when Trump, they try to say Trump had yeah. him march I, up I on Washington. That. That's a good, good But good, then good nothing happened to him. Yeah. See, those with money get just us, and then it's just us. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.